Hello. My name is Humphrey Solomon Jr. Welcome to my channel. Our today's video presentation is about determinants and Kramer's rule in solving systems of linear equations. I will also include a step-by-step -step guide in using Casio ClassWiz calculator in solving systems of linear equations. Before we continue, please watch my other tutorials and please subscribe to my channel, thank you so much. Ok, to find the determinant of a square matrix, we will use the given matrix A below. The determinant of matrix A, is equal to the product of the elements, passed by the red arrow going down, minus the elements, passed by the blue arrow going up. Let's have an example. Example number 1. Find the determinant A given the matrix A below. Now, the solution is, we will multiply negative 3 times 8, minus, 6 times 4. That would be, negative 24, minus 24, the answer is negative 48. We can check this by using a Casio ClassWiz calculator. In matrix mode, we first need to define matrix A, choose option 1. Enter the number of rows, select 2. Enter the number of columns, select 2. We are now ready to input the elements of matrix A. You can follow the string of keys if you like. And then, clear the screen, press the option key, then the down direction key to go to the second page of the menu. Select determinant, option 2. Press the option key, and choose matrix A, select option 3. And finally, the determinant of matrix A, is equal to negative 48. Now, finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, we have the given matrix A below. Our first step, is to copy the first two columns of matrix A, and put it beside it. Next, we need to get the sum of the products of the elements, passed by the red arrow going down. Minus the sum of the products of the elements, passed by the blue arrow going up. To use the determinants in solving systems of linear equations, we will discuss Kramer's rule. For the given system, the solution, is x equals dx over d, and y equals dy over d. Please note that, Kramer's rule does not apply if d equals 0, because division by 0 is undefined. Also, dx, is the determinant of the given system, but the column for the coefficients of x, were replaced by the constants of the equations, c1 and c2. It follows that, dy, is the determinant of the given system, but the column for the coefficients of y, were replaced by the constants of the equations, c1 and c2. To understand this better, we will use example number 2. Use Kramer's rule to solve the given system below. 5x plus 7y equals negative 1. And 6x plus 8y equals 1. The solution for d, dx, and dy, are shown below. d equals 5 times 8, minus, 6 times 7, equals negative 2. dx equals negative 1 times 8, minus, 1 times 7, equals negative 15. dy equals 5 times 1, minus, 6 times negative 1, equals 11. Therefore, x equals 15 over 2. And, y equals negative 11 over 2. The solution for the system is, 15 over 2, and negative 11 over 2. Now, let's try to solve a system using Casio ClassWiz calculator, fx991ex. Start by putting the calculator in equation mode. Next, choose simultaneous equations, option 1. Next, choose two unknowns. We are now ready to input the numerical coefficients and the constants of the equations. You can follow the string of keys if you like. And then, press the equals key two times, to see the value of x, x equals 3, and the value of y, y equals 4. The solution for the system is, 3 and 4. For our example number 3, we will use Kramer's rule to solve the system given below. Our solution is divided into solving for d, dx, dy, and dz. First, we need the augmented matrix of the system. Next, we need the determinant of the system's coefficients for the variables. 
This will be our value of D. We already copied the first two columns, and placed these two columns beside it. Then, we will get the sum of the quantity, 2 times negative 3, times negative 1. Plus 4 times 2, times negative 1. Plus 3 times 1, times 2. Minus. The sum of the quantity, negative 1 times negative 3, times 3. Plus 2 times 2, times 2. Plus negative 1 times 1, times 4. Finally, D equals negative 9. Next, we need the determinant of the system's coefficients for the variables. But we have to replace the column for the coefficients of x, by the column of the constants of the equations. This will be our value of dx. We already copied the first two columns, and placed these two columns beside it. Then, we will get the sum of the quantity, negative 6 times negative 3, times negative 1. Plus 4 times 2, times 9. Plus 3 times negative 15, times 2. Minus. The sum of the quantity, 9 times negative 3, times 3. Plus 2 times 2, times negative 6. Plus negative 1 times negative 15, times 4. Finally, dx equals 9. Next, we need the determinant of the system's coefficients for the variables. But we have to replace the column for the coefficients of y, by the column of the constants of the equations. This will be our value of dy. We already copied the first two columns, and placed these two columns beside it. Then, we will get the sum of the quantity, 2 times negative 15, times negative 1. Plus negative 6 times 2, times negative 1. Plus 3 times 1, times 9. Minus. The sum of the quantity, negative 1 times negative 15, times 3. Plus 9 times 2, times 2. Plus negative 1 times 1, times negative 6. Finally, dy equals negative 18. Next, we need the determinant of the system's coefficients for the variables. But we have to replace the column for the coefficients of z, by the column of the constants of the equations. This will be our value of dz. We already copied the first two columns, and placed these two columns beside it. Then, we will get the sum of the quantity, 2 times negative 3, times 9 plus 4 times negative 15, times negative 1, plus negative 6 times 1, times 2, minus the sum of the quantity, negative 1 times negative 3, times negative 6, plus 2 times negative 15, times 2, plus 9 times 1, times 4. Finally, dz equals 36. Now that we already have the d, dx, dy, and dz, we can have the value for x, y, and z. If we divide dx by d, x equals negative 1. If we divide dy by d, y equals 2. If we divide dz by d, z equals negative 4. The solution for the system is, negative 1, 2, and negative 4. Now, let's try to solve another system with three unknowns, using Casio ClassWiz calculator. Start by putting the calculator in equation mode. Next, choose simultaneous equations, option 1. Next, choose three unknowns. We are now ready to input the numerical coefficients and the constants of the equations. You can follow the string of keys, for equation 1. For equation 2. For equation 3. And then, Press the equals key three times, to see the value of x, x equals negative 1, and the value of y, y equals 2, and the value of z, z equals negative 4. The solution for the system is, negative 1, 2, and negative 4. I hope this video helped you learn about solving systems of linear equations, using the determinants and Kramer's rule, and also, using Casio ClassWiz calculator. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons below. Also, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload my next videos. Always remember, 
Sharing is caring. Have a nice day. Hello. My name is Humphrey Solomon Jr. Welcome to my channel.